service. So as I was explaining, algorithms are a series of actions in a specific order using a solver and a computer problem. And I gave us an instance. If you have to get to school in the morning, what are those steps that you need to take for you to get to school? Number one, you need to wake up. When you woke up, what do you normally do when you wake up? Brush your teeth, isn't it? Or when you wake up, you say your prayers. If you're a Christian or a Muslim, then you brush your teeth. You take your bath. You dress up in your in school uniform. Then you go to school. You understand? Those are actions that you take in order for you to get to school. Those actions that you take in order for you to get to school, they are known as what? Algorithm. And the actions must be taken in specific order. You don't need to get to school first and you start brushing your teeth. And you don't need to get to school first, then you start dressing up in school. You have to wake up in the house, say your prayers, brush your teeth, take your bath, dress, and go to school. Those actions, in the order that they are they come in, is what we know as what algorithm. Algorithms are a series of actions in a specific order using solving a what problem. What sort of problem have you solved? going to school. But to go to school, you have to take some actions. So those actions, written out in the order in which they are taken, is known as algorithm. So algorithm is a procedure for solving a problem in terms of the actions, actions to execute, and the order in which they are executed. For you to represent algorithm in writing, you need to use a language known as pseudocode. This pseudocode is an informal language that helps programmers to develop algorithms without having to worry about the strict details of Java language syntax. If I want you to write a, a, an algorithm for somebody going to school, if you want to start saying system.out.println, some people will not understand it, you understand? So for you to write it, you use a simple language that everybody can come on that, that simple English. You can say, first of all, to write an algorithm for Algorithm for going to school in the morning. So we are going to be using a simple informal language known as pseudocode. So what's the first thing you do to go to school in the morning? Number one, you do what? You have to wake up. Can you go to school where you're sleeping? No. So you wake up. Number two, you do what? You say your what? You say your prayers. Number three, what do you do? You brush, isn't it? You brush your teeth. Number four, what do you do? You take your what? Take your bath. Number five, what do you do? You get dressed, isn't it? You dress up. Then number six, what do you do? You then do what? Go to what? school. So this is a simple algorithm. You understand? Solving the problem of going to school every morning. You understand? And I've written it in a simple language that everybody can understand. It's not less for a Java programmer to convert this from English. Uh, this, this is more like, like an English language. You understand? I can also convert it to a more general pseudo code in Java, which we are going to learn in uh, Letter uh, classes. So, very, very importantly, algorithm and data structures, like I told you, is very, very important. If you want to get a job in big places like Google, they are going to interview you on data structures and algorithm. Algorithm simply means the sequence that you use in solving a problem. That involves stating the action that you need to take to solve a problem. And in stating those actions, it has to be done sequentially. The first thing you need to do first before the second one. If you're writing an algorithm to de develop a software for going to school, you need to wake up first. You need to brush your mouth or your teeth. You need to wake up, say your prayers, brush your teeth, bath, dress up, and go to school. Very, very important. So this is a simple explanation of algorithm. And we're going to solve the problem of our uh, integer that we did using this, uh, Using this procedure, we are going to solve the problem of integer, integer calculation that we did the first time. 
So having this in mind, now we want to develop a software that does simple calculation. A software that do what? That does simple calculation, like we've already done, isn't it? So in that software, we say that we need to add two numbers to get the sum, is it not? So to represent the numbers that we need to add, we need to use a variable, isn't it? So that's why we say int number what? One, is it not? First of all, you need to declare the variable. That's the procedure. Then you declare the second integer. What we want to do is that develop a software that can tell us to enter number one. It will not tell us to enter number two. It will not give us the sum as something. You understand? So you bring in the variable that will store the value of one. Bring in the value variable that will store the number, number two. And this number can be four, it can be five. This one can be anything. You understand? Then bring in a variable that can also store the words, the sum. So this one takes care of this, this one takes care of this, and this one takes care of this. Is that clear? So after getting in these numbers, you can now say that sum is equal to what? Number one plus what? Number two. Is it not? So first thing you do is that, number one thing, you must get a variable that can hold the first number that you want to add. Number two in this step, get a variable that can hold the second number that you want to add. Number three, get a variable that will hold the sum when you add. You understand? After doing this, do the, sum do the summation by saying that the sum is equal to this one plus this one. You understand? Then after getting the sum, number five, you can then what? Echo, echo it out or print, print the sum. You can print out the word sum so that people can see it. So if you take the code that we wrote then, we simply did what? We said import java what? Dot util dot what? Scanner. Because we want to get things from what? We are from the keyboard. So we now said what? Public class what? Addition, which is the name of the software we want to develop, isn't it? Which we enclosed inside the curly brackets. Then we said what? Public static void main string. Ask, isn't it? And this one indicates the word, the main function, the main method, which we also was include, enclosed in a bracket. Then what else did we do? We created a a scanner object by saying what scanner, and the name of the object is what input is equal to what new scanner then in bracket we say what system dot what in isn't it then after that we declare these variables then on declaring the variables how do you get in the number we simply say what system dot what out dot print then we say what enter what the what first number. So when we say this, somebody will impute this. And how do we get the impute? We simply say what? Number one is equal to what? Input dot what? Next int. Isn't it? So we repeat the same thing for number two to get the number two. Then we'll add it up. To print this sum, how do we do that? We also say what? System dot out dot print. You cannot say what sum. Or we can say the sum is. That's how you reflect this. You understand? 
So for you to be able to write any code, you need to know what we call algorithm, the steps that you need to take. You understand? So before writing this code, this you have already done in the previous class. I'm just using it to explain how to apply algorithms. How to do what? Apply algorithms. Using it to explain how to apply algorithms. When we start creating software that are very strong and bigger than this, we need the knowledge of algorithm. We are going to must be using algorithm. So algorithm to do simple addition. Algorithm to do simple addition. Number one, you have to do what? Store the value of the first number, and which I'll show you, but you need to do it by saying what? Int what number one. Store the value of the second one, int number two. Declare the answer, int sum. You understand? These are the steps. Get the first number, get the second number. Declare a variable that will take the sum. Then do the actual summation sum equal to what? Number one plus what? Number two. So these steps one, two, 